Our next proposal deals with seasons of competition and is specific just to the sports of wrestling and indoor and outdoor track and field. Under this proposal, a student athlete's participation in a competitive event could count towards their 20% rule, uh, determining if they use a season of competition, even if they're not officially representing their institution in competition, if the following things were to occur. So first, if at any point during the academic year, the student athlete is certified as eligible in that particular sport. And second, if at any point during the academic year, the student athlete competes in a competitive event where one or more collegiate teams are also competing. If both of those things occur, then the student athlete's participation in that event would count towards their 20% calculation. The background to this or the intention from the sponsors is a recognition that in those sports specifically, it's an available option for a student athlete to either enter themselves as unattached or unaffiliated into the event, or perhaps an institutional coach could also enter them as unattached or unaffiliated into the event. And it can become an opportunity to essentially get more competitive experience without actually having to do it by representing your institution, which we know if you represent your institution, that automatically sort of triggers that competitive event counting towards your 20%. So the sponsors feel like because those particular sports permit that opportunity for somebody to be entered as unattached or unaffiliated, it creates a loophole around our existing rules. So the intention of the sponsors is that if you are participating in such an event and there are other collegiate teams also participating in, event, in the event, that essentially makes it a collegiate type of competitive event or meet. And if you also end up getting certified as eligible within that same particular sport, it indicates your association or affiliation with that team at your institution. And so if both of those things occur at any point in time during the academic year, it would count towards that student's 20% calculation. Note that it, both of those don't have to occur at the same time. So if a student athlete competes in one of these events and is unattached or unaffiliated uh, in the fall, let's say, and then a couple of months later ends up getting certified within that particular sport, now both have, have occurred and the student athlete would have that event count towards their 20%.